Next, we will discuss adding whole numbers. And let me tell you what is meant by this term, whole numbers. First, think about the numbers that you use when you're counting. One, two, three, four, and so on. You generally start with one and you count up. And this group of numbers is sometimes called the counting numbers. Or they're sometimes called the natural numbers. And they're called that because those numbers are the way that we naturally count. We start at one and we go up. But the number zero is also very important. And if you want to do more than just count, if you want to do some arithmetic, if you want to start adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, the zero becomes very important. So if you put a zero in there, along with the counting numbers, or the natural numbers, all of those numbers together are called whole numbers. So when you hear someone refer to whole numbers or to the set of whole numbers, they're just talking about these. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, as high as you want to go. Next, I'm going to make a very important point about adding things that are of like kind. This is a very important topic. You're, you're going to need to understand this through the rest of your mathematical career, so pay attention to this. You can add numbers like you have here, 15 plus 23. You can probably do that in your head. 15 plus 23, we have an 8 and a 3. 15 plus 23 is 38. So we've added two numbers. You learned to do that a long time ago. But you can also add numbers that represent things. So in this example, we have four cats and two cats. So the 4 here isn't just a 4 by itself. It's four cats. And a 2 here is two cats. And this is pretty easy. If you have four cats and somebody gives you two cats, then you have a total of six cats. Now, the important thing here is that the answer isn't six. The answer is six cats. Same thing here. Three birds plus eight birds is 11 birds. And this works for basically anything as long as they are things of the same kind. So $20 plus $8. If you have $20 and you get eight more, then it's very clear that you have $28. Or if you walk seven miles and then you walk nine miles, you've walked a total of 16 miles. So you can add things together as long as they are the same type or the same kind of thing. But if they're not the same kind of thing, you can't add them. Look at these next examples. What are $5 plus three cats? If you have $5 and then somebody gives you three cats, what do you have? Well, you have $5 and three cats. You can't make it any simpler than that. You can't combine the five and the three. That should be three cats. You can't combine this five and the three because they're not the same type of thing. $5 and three cats are two different kinds of things. So if you have two birds and 20 miles, you combine those. All you can say is that you have two birds and 20 miles. You don't have 22 of anything. So you can't combine these two items that are of different kind. And just as a little preview, when we get into variables, you'll see this in algebra. You might have something like 3x plus 5x, and that could be combined to an 8x. But if you had 3x plus 5y, those can't be combined. And we'll cover that idea with variables like this further down the road, and you'll also do that. It's a very important concept in Algebra 1.